Well, good day, everyone. Welcome to another edition of uh, Fly Fishing in Nature's Realm. Now, um, today's fly that we're going to tie is called the Flasher. Now, the Flasher um, is a fly that was developed in Tasmania. Now, I've only got a, a small amount of details, but the person who apparently developed it was a bloke by the name of Mark. And... Um, he uh, used this fly in Lake Sorrel and um, you know, there was a magazine that I uh, uh, used to read that I got this fly from, I think it was uh, uh, Fishing News, I think it was that was the uh, magazine, but anyhow this caught a lot of them, in Lake Sorrel in, in Tasmania there's a lot of big trout. And it's lake, uh, which isn't too far away from it, Lake Crescent, um, is got some really big trout. So these two lakes are really noted for the big trout. And um, a lot of people had a lot of success with this fly called the Flasher. Now, it is a fly that's sort of um, very, very similar to a Tom Jones in its configuration, but it uses um, marabou feather. Uh, for the uh, wing and also um, has a different coloured body uh, made from chenille and um, it's it's a great fly, it works well anywhere I've had a, you know, a fair amount of success more in lakes that are uh, north of, uh, of Melbourne sort of like uh, around Bendigo and, uh, um, and down a little bit from there in like, you know, Harcourt, Cancurran um, tell a root those type of lakes so it works well but this this fly will work anywhere um, it's got a great action to it and it's a, it's a really good fly so um, hey let's start tying it now the uh, materials that we'll need to uh, tie this fly will be mentioned just uh, here and um, you can uh, pause your computer write down those materials and uh, you won't forget them so uh, let's start tying uh, this fly called the flasher. Now we need a size 8, size 6. Um, I think the original calls for a size 4. I think that's going a bit too big, but you know, big flies, you know, some people believe big flies catch big trout. So, you know, even a size 4. But I use a long shank sort of uh, 8, uh, or long, longish uh, type shank. Uh, for this uh, fly. So we've got that in the vise. We'll use uh, 6 black silk and we'll start off tying the fly just at the eye of the hook and we'll make our wraps towards the barb of the hook. Okay, cut away the surplus. And keep tying that fly tying silk. Just tighten that vice a little bit so we don't have too much movement. Uh, down towards the barb. Long chain hook takes a little bit longer. Doesn't have to be beautifully neat because we're covering it with a Chanel body. So when we're in line with the barb is about where we'll tie the tail in. Right now the tail um, calls for a mixture of green um, flashaboo and also black flashaboo. Now when you do a uh, tie with uh, flashaboo, um, you have a tail that's got a blunt end and it doesn't look natural to me. So I come across this material um, here which is a ripper because it's got the greeny flash um, within it and it's also got a black type of fish hair um, and when you tie it on it comes to a point or you can shape it to a point and it looks a hell of a lot natural now I've cut a little section of what I want and we're going to tie that in for the tail so we measure it up 
probably about that much there and we'll tie that in. Now to make sure everything's nice and equal, cut away the surplus up around the eye of the hook and we'll bring the thread over and up towards the eye to cover that material. And then of course back towards where we tied the tail in. And there we have the tail. And you can see it looks more natural. If you use just Lurex or Flasher Boot, it's going to come out you know, not very pointy. Uh, it's just not going to be really natural. So uh, that's what I use there. Just a, a little bit of a change. But if you like, you can just tie in a mixture of the Flasher Boot and, um, and stick to the original plan. And um, it gets its flash from not only the tail, but also the body with, and that's the next step, is the chenille. Now it wants a gold sparkle chenille, and this is this is a goldy uh, sparkle chenille. It's called um, what's it called? Fields Gold 46. So it is a a sparkle chenille, and it's got a beautiful sparkle within the chenille, and. Uh, this is what creates some extra flash and really enhances the fly. So we'll cut ourselves off a section of that. And then we can scrape off with chenille just the ending of the material from the centre core. And that's what we'll tie in that centre core at this point. Tie that in. Make sure it's nice and in position with the actual tail tie that down and around about that position there alright so now it states um, when you do tie this fly that you do two turns and then we put in the first marabou alright so we'll do two turns of the chanel so there's one there, and there's two right there, and we can tie that down there. All right. Now, the first Chanel, um, sorry, the first Marabou that we require is a green marabou or an olive green. And we just want a small bunch of the marabou or the olive green marabou. We can just strip it off or cut it off. Like so. Bring that together. And then the length of it, we want it to, to the tips of the marabou to be in line with the tail. So that's where we tie that in at that position there. So we bring our fly tying thread and we just give it one nice tight tie in. Like so. We'll cut away the excess and then bring our black flying or our black tying thread advance that forward and do another two turns of the chanel making sure you get in nice and tight to that green marabou so there's the first turn there's the second turn just there tie that in just one turn to hold it really we could get more. Now the next marabou is black. Alright, just a, a little bit of black marabou, a tuft of that. 
and we've got some black marabou here which we will cut away from the stem now again needs to be in line with the other marabou in its length and then we tie that in at that point just there so once go twice if you want and then advance the fly tying through forward get rid of that surplus just there with that tough we didn't have much of a surplus on that one and then we do again two turns of the sparkle gold sparkle chanel so one turn two turns tie that in and then the next one is olive green again so the colors combination are olive green black and then olive green so again we get ourselves another tuft of the olive green marrow boot get that away and again we want it to line up with the other marabou bunches there and then we tie that in Then cut away the excess there. And cut away the Chanel. Right now we need to make sure that we push that down and then build a nice black head. And we can tie over that sort of excess marabou and chanel there and build up a nice black head okay so as you can see the secret to this is to make sure that the last bunch of marabou feathers is at the head of the fly right. so now and that's simply it we've, we've tied the fly and then we just need to whip finish it Snip that thread away. And you lose five is there. And then we can put a drop of um, either head cement or uh, nail polish, whatever you want, on the actual head of the fly. And then the uh, fly is finished. So that's it. That's a very simple uh, fly to tie. It's uh, 
got a great combination. As you can see, it's very similar to a Tom Jones, which is a fly that was tied by uh, John Lanchester, or developed and uh, invented by uh, John Lanchester. And he uses olive green wallaby for, um, for the wing. Here we've got marabou, and the reason why you know, this is probably, you know, gave a lot of people success um, in different uh, areas is the action to the fly. That marabou will really move and, and, and the, the actual chenille sparkle yarn, or that, that will sparkle and you've got the flash of boo in the tail. So it's a, a nice flashy fly and it's got a lot of action as well. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good fly, it really is. So um, give this a try guys, down at uh, your favourite lake and um, even in a river. I can't say the reason why it wouldn't work in a river, but it has been designed for fishing in a lake. Uh, it's a ripper of a fly. Alright guys, um, hope you learnt um, something uh, of a, uh, well it's a different pattern and um, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, learning how to tie this fly called the flasher. Alright, this is Bruce Smith saying goodbye and um, see you in the next edition of Fly Fishing in Nature's Realm. Bye for now.